Hey everybody, I'm Sean, and welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, it's part two of our trip to Clear Lake, the opening day of ice season for us here in Southern Alberta, at least for, for me. Um, and uh, we did so well last week that we decided to make this a two-parter. So hopefully we're gonna continue to catch some fish. As you guys saw, we caught four in about two hours and lost almost that many as well. And so hopefully that continues. And uh, hey, let's just get right back to the action. Okay, everybody, before we get started on today's episode here, I just wanted to show you how awesome it is out here. First of all, temperature wise, it's beautiful out here today. It is close to, I would say it's about minus two, maybe minus one. Uh, so around 35, 34 Fahrenheit. And uh, beautiful day out here, clear, no wind really. And we are perfectly alone on this lake. There is not one other person out here which is always awesome. You got the whole lake to yourself. I will show you. Um, this is where we're parked. And we are, if I do a 360, all by ourselves, which is great. Now there is signs that there's been some other people out here. In fact, I know there have been some other people out here, but uh, quiet today, so we'll take that. And uh, all right. Let's get some fish on the ice. There we go. Speaking of fish on the ice, we got it flag up right now. Always seems to happen, you guys, when I'm filming my intros. No exception. We got it spinning. Let's see if we can set the hook on this one and get it. I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Feels like a decent sized one. Oh, I might have lost it. Oh, I think I lost it. Oh no, it's still there. It was just coming towards the hole. Yeah, that's a good size one, you guys. That's a decent fish. Look at it pulling. Let's see what I got for the first fish of part two. This feels like a nice fish. I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, you guys. This is a good one. This is a good one. Hey, camera lady, I'm gonna need a picture. Oh, ho, ho, you guys, I got a tank. Ho, 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 ho. First fish of episode two, and it is a monster. It is bigger than the first one I got in episode one. <laughs> All right, you guys, <laughs> what a way to start part two. I got the biggest fish of my ice fishing season in part one, and now I got an even bigger one in part two. All right, you guys. <laughs> tank to start it out, and that is a tank, and it is heavy. We're gonna get a weight and a length, but before we do that, we're gonna get this big girl in the live well. We are gonna get a length and a weight on this big girl, then we're gonna get a let her go. The ice well is working perfectly. She's resting in there, she cannot get out. Uh, perfect way to let your fish recover and also for you to be able to get that length and that weight that you're after. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right, everybody, let's get a measurement on this one and the weight. This is where I wish I had a fish cradle, you guys. I hate weighing these ones by the jaw. It's so big. All right, you guys, that is a 37 inch pike. Oh man, 37. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to support this one a little bit. I don't want to hurt her. And I, I do want to get a weight quick, so I'm going to do this as quick as I can. All right, you guys, that fish is 12.3 pounds. 12.3 pounder on the ice, 37 inches. That is a fish and a half right there. And now we're going to get one last look at her before we release her and then put her back down into the hole. Unbelievable. She's good. Look at that big girl. And now all we got to do is tip her head towards the hole. And there she goes. Unbelievable. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's get some more. All right, everybody. So some excitement there on that catch. And uh, one of the things that I want to do is just tell you guys about our techniques and show you guys what we're using to catch these fish. So um, as I said in part one, we got two setups running today. 
Um, we have our tip-ups out here on the ice and we are on those we are running the predator rig I will show you those in a second and then we have two rods in the tent and with those I'm just using a chartreuse jig head with a single minnow again I will show you that we have caught fish on both uh, if you want to see some of the fish that we caught in the tent that's in part one and uh, so far this time just that one beautiful fish so far out here on the ice on the tip up so I'm going to pull this tip up up and show you guys what I'm using on it and then I will show you the setup that we have in the tent. What you're going to see is we're using a single large smelt on these. Pretty big smelt. Um, single smelt, about five inches long on a predator rig. And we've got that predator rig through the fish on each side, uh, the trebles. And we're just hanging that down. That's what's on both of the tip ups. And that is what I caught that big 12, uh, just about 12 and a half pound fish on is this. I have caught though today, if you go back to part one, I caught about a 15 inch pike on one of these as well. So they will bite uh, these bigger lures, even the small ones. But uh, what you're trying to do obviously with this setup is weed out some of those smaller ones and get the big ones, which is what worked. Uh, this one's currently sitting in about, I would say 10 feet of water. A little deeper on the one further back, it's sitting in about 12 and in the tent we're sitting in about eight. So we're fishing off of a slight slope here today, ranging from eight to 12 feet. And we've had fish in every one of the holes except for the one back there. And so uh, I might have to move that one that's in deeper water in that 12 foot range to somewhere else uh, because it has not picked up any fish. So uh, that's what you gotta do sometimes is re-drill some holes and fish in some different locations. All right, I'm gonna get this one set and I'll show you the setup inside the tent. All right, so this is our setup inside the tent. We've got our rods in our rod holders, our homemade jaw jackers. Um, I've got the bells on them because I'm outside checking the lines a lot. And if I just take this one off and bring it up, just to show you, um, as I said, in here we're just running a single chartreuse jig head with a minnow on it, a smaller smelt in this case. And that's it. And uh, we've also had uh, a few fish hit in here as well. Uh, we also have the yo, yo underwater camera in here and it is uh, watching these so that when we are in the tent uh, we can see the bait on the yo, -yo camera and uh, watch the strikes if one of the pikes happen to come by and we just saw one come by a little while ago. So that's our setup out here today. Working good so far and uh, we'll see if we can get some more. All right, you guys, I got another one here. You can see it spinning right now. So I'm going to let this thing run a little bit. Then I'm going to try to set the hook. This has been a hot hole today. This is where I just caught that really big one. Let's see if we can get this one set. I got it. I got it. Definitely not as big as the last one. This is a tiny one compared to that last one. But we like catching fish regardless of the size. So that's awesome. I think this is the third or fourth fish from this hole today. So this has been a hot hole. Yeah, look at that compared to that last one. All right, you guys, there you go. A little tiny one. Again, even these small ones will take those big baits. We're not gonna measure this one or put it in the live well. We're just gonna let it go right here. And gone. That is the sixth fish of the day out here. Second in part two. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some more. All right, you guys, I got another one here. It feels like another good one. Feels like another good one. Definitely feels like a good sized one. I don't think quite as obviously big as that, that first one, but a decent size for sure. Oh yeah, it's got some pull to it. Oh, it's a good day out here today, you guys. We are getting onto some fish. I have not seen it yet, but it's a good size. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh oh, I'm snagged on the hole. I got it. Another nice fish. All right, you guys, another nice one. Like I said, probably about five pounds, close to 30 inches. Man, we are having a nice day out here. It's gorgeous, the fish are biting. What more can you ask for? Let's get this one released right here, back down into the hole. There she goes with a wave, splash me in the face. 
Woo! We are on them. Loving it. All right, you guys, we got a bite here. See if it's still on. Yeah, it's still here. Spinning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set this hook. See if my wife can bring this one in. I don't know. Let's see if it's still on there or not. Try to give it a set. We got it. All right. Bring it in. If it starts to run, don't don't pull too hard. Let give it some room if it starts to take off. Still there? Yeah, it's still there. You got it. There you go. Pull it out. Nice one. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Woohoo! All right, you guys, we're inside the tent here. We got the EOEO -E -O recording, and you can see this pike staring at my lure right now. I'm just going to give it a little jig. All right, you guys, this flag just went off, and there's a fish on there. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Pulled that a little tight and gave myself a cut with my line, but we got him. not huge but it's not bad oh he got off oh no he's still there I thought he got off it's not bad we're filming this on my iPhone because my camera died oh yeah that's not bad there's some good pull to that one yeah yeah that's a, that's a decent one again I think oh yeah not bad I think this one might have been the one that just went through in the camera on the tent. <laughs> nice. Off the hook. Another nice fish. All right, you guys, that's another six, seven pounder right there. Probably six pounds. I think that's the one that just went by in the tent. Woo, that feels good. We got another one. Loving it. All right, let's get this one released back in the live well. like that another one on the ice I think that's number 10 for the day I don't even know it's definitely 9 or 10 but what a day out here we're gonna reset that we're gonna give it 20 more minutes and then we're gonna call it uh, cameras died almost out of bait that's what you love to see when you're doing an ice fishing day and so uh, maybe we'll get one more on the ice if not I'll be closing it out so woohoo all right, everybody, that's going to do it for part two out here on Clear Lake. Uh, what an amazing day fishing. We had uh, a great start to the day. You saw that in part one. Then I got an even bigger fish in part two. Uh, we caught some really nice fish today, and uh, what an amazing way to start the ice fishing season. There's going to be a lot more of that to come. This is just the beginning, but I hope you guys enjoyed at least this first part where we got out and got back to action on the hard water. All right, that's going to close it out for this one. As always, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. All right, everybody, so this is why you never take your rods out. We're currently packing up the tent. This is the last tip up in the water. And I got them. Uh, always leave your lines in the water until the end of the day. Um, you never know. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, I lost it right there. But that's a good example. I had a bite right at the very end of the day. Uh, so we're going to pack this one up now. We're going to call it. But uh, while we were packing up, I had... A fish on the other tip up I had a fish on the rod and I had a fish on here all at the very end so that's why you leave it and uh, what an amazing day of fishing <laughs>